Alright everybody, here's June Bowser Jr. Welcome back to more Earthbound. In the last video, we completed the cop challenge thing where all the cops would fight me. And uh, pretty much finished up one at, so... And I think... I think I tried going down to Tucson. I think. I think I think. Anyway, that's what I'm going to be doing in this video. So we're just going to... I stored the town map with Tracy, my sister, back at my house. So now I don't have to worry about that at all. So that'll be nice, but now I'm trying to... Yeah, good, I am going the right way. So the cops have kindly let me out. We've got some bugs and whatever running from me. I forget, what house is this? Oh yeah, it's the exit mouse house. So I got an exit mouse in the last video. All the things are running from me. Oh, and I think I encountered a rambling evil mushroom in the last video. And uh, you guys saw why they are the worst. So basically, whenever you don't want to run into an enemy, you can just, like, slither off the screen a little bit, and then it should refresh them. So there, I'm safe. Oh, another rambling evil mushroom. So basically, that's just a safe way to make sure that you're not going to get, not going to encounter any of them. Alright, so that's pretty much it. I don't think we've ever talked to this guy. I'm not an enemy, I'm just a friendly mole. I'll tell you how to distinguish between friends and enemies. It's easy to tell an enemy just by looking at them. Enemies look like humans with weird colored faces. Be aware of them. However, you can't get more powerful if you avoid your enemies. True that. True that. Alright, so wow, we're already here in Tucson. Welcome, would you like me to tell you about Tucson? No! Don't want to hear about it. Anyway, so there is a lot to take care of. The hotel, we already took care of sleeping in the last video. That's when Paula used her psychic powers to talk. But, um, hey, hey, look who it is. Picture's taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready, say, Fuzzy Pickles. Wow, what a great photograph. I will al it will always bring back the fondest of memories. And then he zooms back off. Anyway, as I was saying, yeah, so Paula used her telekinetic abilities to talk to us. And so basically there's just a few more things that we need to take care of while we're here in Tucson. First and foremost, we can get a bike. Yes. Ah, Sure. Yeah, that's right. Got the bike for free. So, after a while, it's really just... Yeah. So, it's the, the bike's really kind of pointless. It's fun while you're in here, and then you can just kind of, like, ride around on it. Ha! Look at me! I'm Ness on a bike! Ha <laughs> Hey, it's Mr. T! And once you get going, you can actually just let go of the control stick. And the music's kind of nice. But, um, hey, I'm going as fast as a car. Oh, no, he's going faster than me. Damn. Let's see, let's just explore Tucson for a bit. Okay, you can barely go into the grass. Not much there. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, oh, there we go. Alright, past Mr. T already. The Chaos Theater. We've got the Runway 5 premiering. We've got a dog. It is in the way. Look how happy Ness looks. Oh, there's a cop. No! And a dog! No! The cop and its cohorts. <laughs> No! Take this, you cop! No! Smash! Yeah, take that, you cop. Alright. Okay, that sucked. I would have taken that dog out in no hits. Had that cop not been there. Anyway, so here we have Berglund Park. Uh, we can go there. Whoa, when I go down, Ness's hat just like switches sides, weirdly. Here is the preschool, Pole Star Preschool, with the little cat on top. Uh, that's where Paula goes to school, and we can go talk to people in there. And then here we have Apple and Orange Kid. So I'm just going to get off the bike now. We'll start here with Apple and Orange Kid. Orange Kid, you can invest in one of his items. They're both inventors, Apple and Orange Kid. They're both inventors, and uh, you can invest in their products. Although Orange Kid will not really do a whole lot. He'll give you one item. But Apple Kid, he gives you a lot of things, so it is best to invest your money in him. All $55 that I probably have. Well, I have sort of neglected doing my housework. I know it's a bit of a pigsty, but anyway, I'm Apple Kid. I haven't taken a bath in quite a while, so I may be kind of stinky. If 
By the way, I'm starving. Do you have something to eat? If you do, can I have some? Yes. I'll give him a cookie. Thanks, you seem very nice. Uh, I wonder if maybe you'd like to invest some money in my inventions. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, excuse me. I mean, thank you. By the way, I could really use 200. Not yet. Alright, so I guess I do need to go to the department store and just pick up some money. I'll do that. Oops, on my bike. No! Super controls. Bike. Whee! Let's go to the store. So yeah, two hundred dollars for Apple Kid, and like it's you kind of have to. Yeah, you do have to. Um, but the items that he gives are very useful. So we'll just slowly, not much faster than walking, work our way up to the department store and just go to the ATM. Take out 200, so then I'll still have. Wait, did I even take that out? No, I pressed B. Uh. Whoops. Uh, 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 200. Nice. Another thing, real quick, that I'm here. Uh, there's this little phone here. You can call your mom because after a while you will get homesick, and that is not good because it makes you miss a lot in battles. So anyway, is that you, Ness? You called me back sooner than I thought. Everyone here is doing just fine. Oh yes, Tracy started working part time for Escargo Express. Here, I'll let you talk to her. And call me when you have some time. Oh, you don't have any free time? Well, here's Tracy. Hello, this is Escargo Express. Oh, is that you, Ness? Big bro, it's me, Tracy. I'm working part time for Escargo Express. What can I do for you? Uh, neither? Come again. Click. Anyway, so you call your mom for homesickness, and then you call Tracy if at any point you have an item that you need to get rid of, but you are only within proximity of a phone. That's pretty much what you do. Alright. One more trip down to Apple Kid, and we will be in good shape. Oh, what? Can't drive through the puddle. Okay, Apple Kid. Hello. Oh, God. Maybe you'd like to invest. Yes. Yes. Alright. He took $201. Oh, wait, no, that's because I talked on the phone. I'm a mouse. No one has given me a name yet. You took care of my master. In return, I want you to give you this. Please take it and say nothing. And it's the receiver phone. Oh, it must be in your way. Zip. The receiver phone basically allows you to receive calls from anybody. Particularly important is Apple Kid, because he will call you. It's kind of unavoidable. Okay, next let's just go here and talk to some of the people who will alert us of Paula's being away. Paula is like a mother to me. You may not be able to comprehend my emotions. I might have a baby face, but I possess the mind of an adult. I beg your pardon. Okay. Well, I want to play with Paula, but she's gone somewhere. Whistle, whistle anywhere. It makes me smile all the while. I'm Paula's mother. I'm busy taking care of these kids. You shouldn't worry about Paula. She has a guardian angel, it seems. Huh, it would seem that all the kids are worried. Let's talk to Paula's dad. So, you want to see Paula? Many come here to see her miraculous powers, but they're just leeches. So, are you talking about fleh? No. Uh, to meet you or not to meet you can only be decided by Paula. Paula has said that she would only meet with a boy named Ness. So you're Ness. You're the one that was in Paula's dream. You will save the world. Let me go call Paula. Awesome. I will save the world. But not so much. She doesn't seem to be here. I wonder where she went. I'm sorry. Could you come back later? Nice. So, her parents are kind of unconcerned, but whatever. Ness will save the world and save Paula at the same time. And that'll be fun and easy to take care of. So, that's done, and now let's head over to Berglund Park and just get the job done over here. Let's see, I am not full on health, but I'm just going to eat this bag of fries. That's a good amount. Let's see, there's a copper brace that I can buy from somewhere, but then again, I probably don't have a whole lot of money. Mm, let's see what he has to say. Own an antique shop. $98. Uh, I do want to get that for sale sign, but can't buy it right now because I don't have funds and I just want to take care of this next part. But I will come back and likely buy the copper bracelet, either from the department store or here, and uh, I'll get the for sale sign. Because you can sell things anywhere in the world and people just come running towards you. Anyway, so up here, 
Wah-ha-ha! Why don't we chat later, after we've locked horns? We have Everdread. Okay, so basically like a mini boss battle, it's good to have full health, and uh, basically I'm just gonna use Rockin', cause Rockin's pretty easy and it'll take him out fairly quickly. He decided to steal something but failed. Just use another Rockin'. And he turned back to normal. You can just bash him if you really want to, but it's really the easiest way to just use Rockin'. This is level is now 14, offense went up by 1, speed went up by 1, maximum HP went up by 3, and maximum PP went up by 1. Aha, Paralysis Alpha, nice. Wasn't an awesome level, but whatever, we got a level. <clears throat> Welcome to Berglund Park. When I jumped off the roof, I twisted my ankle. Anyway, I lost, and nothing will change that. You know, you're pretty strong. Yeah, I know that you want to find out a find out about a girl named Paula. She went off to a secret hideout in Peaceful Rest Valley. A chubby boy and a weird guy in a blue outfit have kidnapped her, though. They say that they were going to make Paula some sort of human sacrifice. They were definitely hardcore strange. You know, she might be gone already. You better hurry. If you save Paula, be sure to come back here, okay? Don't forget. Alright, so that was Everdread, and we are fenced off, so I have to go out the long way out of Berglund Park. Ah, oh, no. Stupid water. Okay, quickly, ah, I still have some time, but basically what I'm going to do now is just go withdraw even more money from, uh, from the store so I can buy a few more things, and maybe we'll check out the store, just see what they all have for sale in here. Draw roll, uh, let's just take out 300, just to be safe, let's check out what we've got. It does take a while to go up the escalators, but whatevs. Bakery, we have the burger place. Not interested in either of those. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's see, shop. Let's see what they have at the shop. Buy. T ball bat, okay. Fry pan, slingshot, mm -hmm. cheap bracelet, baseball cap, and ribbon. Some of those are Anna's items, so we will, or Paula. Gosh, I said Anna. Paula's items, so we will get those later. Let's see what he's selling. Cold Remedy and Teddy Bear. Teddy Bear is useful, but I'm not really gonna buy it. Alright, and that's about it. They've got games, but as far as I remember, you cannot play them. Never tried. Anyway. Boom down. Okay. Okay. God. If it didn't always take so long, I would just, like... I wouldn't be riding my bike, but at least it's a tad bit faster. Kind of looks like I'm doing a wheelie when I turn. Like, hua, hua, hua. You see that? Ness can do wheelies. Oh, yeah. He is such a badass. Alright. I'm probably going to run out of room, so I'm going to eat the most useless HP items at this point. Cookies, they only heal... Six, so it's not really worth it to do anything <clears throat> or to keep them. Okay, so I sold that. Now let's see. World's greatest ruler? No. Ah, he didn't steal it. Hey, Mon, you got to expand your mind and use this stuff creatively. Come on, buy some of my junk. Copper bracelet. Oh, God, I just had enough. Okay, um, let's see, oh, do I get, no, I get money in my bank from battling. Okay, I'm gonna go grab money really quick, and then I'll be back so I can buy the copper bracelet. Alright, so, I'm back, and now, I got a teddy bear at the shop. Teddy bears are kind of useful because they will at least, uh, take some damage, quite a bit of damage before dying, and so it kind of helps you out, especially within the next parts. But anyway... Uh, buy copper bracelet. Do you want to equip that? Yes. Cheap bracelet? Yeah, sure, I'll just sell it. No. Okay, so that is all for this video. We got a lot done in Tucson, and now we're finally going to actually get going and uh, hopefully get to rescuing Anna pretty soon. So, thank you guys for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time for more Earthbound. Bye-bye.